Hey there people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm going to be reviewing House of Tom Ford once again. Big thanks to Dr. Jeffrey. I um, always like feel privileged again reviewing so many Tom Fords thanks to my friends for their bottles and most part they're all his bottles. So recently bought this. This is a discontinued gem. It's called London. Okay. This is a tester unit, 50 ml version. And uh, this is not the first fragrance uh, in that name. Like London, I do have the very epic Burberry's London, which I absolutely love. I just bought one backup bottle yesterday because my juice level was running low a little bit, you know. Yeah, yes, I have about what <clears throat> 10 20 mil. One of my most favorite fragrances of all time, designer or need doesn't matter. This is a gem. So, uh, one of the things just makes this fragrance special is that the name. Uh, there was a film called London, Jessica Beale starred in it, and it's a very different kind of movie. Okay, I think there was Chris Evans, uh, Chris. Ev Chris Evans, Ivan, Chris Evans, that, uh, you know, uh, Mr. America dude, I think he was there, Jason Stadium was there, and I think, what's his name, the stand-up comedian, <laughs> he was there as well, Dane Cook, uh, so I used to have like those days, back in the time, I used to work, watch a lot of films, movies, download, and then I used to have DVDs, so they were like nights, you know, like you just snacking and watching movies and marathon, uh, that's one of my favorite films of all time, London. So let's see how Tom Ford's London is because this is very hard to find now. I don't know if they're going to re-release this in their designer site, but this apparently has a lot of fan following. So I don't have a box, obviously, it's a test unit. And this is how that looks. Thanks, Dr. Jeffrey, once again. This is Tom Ford. Typical presentation of Tom Ford. I do not like their caps. This one seemed to have better grip, but again, you know, <laughs> with little effort, it comes up once in a while. So I wish they made it like a click or really strong grip. And this one has a sticker instead of a golden plate or something so it looks like kind of like a temple at times from china i don't know what inspired these bottles someone can explain to others so you can see through the juice it's not really totally opaque you can put light you can see if you just hold it against the light so i gave it a few days worrying and i'm ready to review this uh, this is basically a winter goodie okay this is a very strong and not everybody's cup of tea i smell it first time i fell in love because the thing that i look for in Tom Ford fragrances are that <clears throat> give me a second yeah the voice really disturbing the season change the flu's flying around anyway so I was telling you the thing that I look for in Tom Ford fragrances is that wow factor that's something that's bold fragrances like Black Orchid okay Noir Anthracite two of my most favorite from this house and then obviously Tuscan Leather at Tobacco Venue you guys know the story so Tom Ford created like Amber Absolute another favorite of mine so Tom Ford created some dark fragrances. Some of them were missed, some of their hits, okay? I think this one, I don't know how it's sold, but this is one of his best creation. That's how I'm gonna start. Uh, the moment I put this on my skin, it's on my hand. This is, <clears throat> honestly speaking, uh, let me show you the spray. Spray is a lot of juice, okay? So the first time I sprayed it, I said, wow. Immediately I said, wow, what is this? This reminds me straight away of coffee and kind of like a leather, uh, and then amber and kind of animalic and I said it has definite connection to amber absolute I don't know why I said it so the first thing you spray this is kind of sweet okay when it opens up it's kind of sweet and it's dark uh, there's coffee note in this there's I think almond uh, perhaps there is woody notes spices incense a lot of this dark notes that you get from uh, dark rebel rider from John Barbados but this is beast mode perfume longevity is very good so if you also like chanel's antheas something like god or greek god powerful or zeus you know this one feels like strong it reminds me sort of like <clears throat> Givenchy gentleman let me show you the older version uh, i don't have a vintage but this is also considered as vintage Givenchy gentleman fragrance like kuros i don't know why okay there's something animalic in this which reminds me of those perfumes very strong uh, and uh, Chanel and Tears, Kuros, <clears throat> the voice gonna really disturb me. So uh, I think smelling the perfume is doing that. Just give me another second, just last one, I promise. <sighs> yeah, <clears throat> just still recovering from all this, that um, voice and the throat infection anyway. So this one has that animalic side. When you open it, I mean spray it first time, you definitely see kind of like connection to some other Tom Ford fragrance in the past. It smells... People say of London, it represents London, but back in the time, like long, long, long time ago, like contemporary London back in the time. <clears throat> and 
And if you actually been to London streets, you can feel like walking through the streets or the tunnels or somewhere at night time. Uh, <clears throat> it does have a like old school vibe. Like you do not feel this is the most modern city. They do have skyscrapers now, but most of the houses are built like Britain, like British people love their uh, heritage. They love their, uh, how do you say, culture or their history. So they want to keep it within their house. Their houses are like <clears throat> the two floor house, like link house everywhere. I don't know what you call those, like terrace house, whatever you call it. It does remind me of those red bricks. Okay, I think Tom Ford went to London and perhaps inspired by that city and he was the creative director of it. So I think this is going to be for people who are mature. Mature knows definitely can pick it up the beauty right away. It has connection to Kuros, Amber Absolute, uh, something spicy, um, something leathery. Even sometimes it reminds me of Tuscan leather, but it doesn't have a leather part. So that coffee note, there's a coffee note in this, which is dark. Perhaps that's creating that uh, confusion, but it gives that dark edge. So sitting by a local pub, Irish pub, you're having like a late night cold weather, having a cup of coffee or cappuccino, cappuccino or, uh, you know, um, I don't know, simply coffee. And then wearing this with a leather jacket with your gloves on. This is what I see. It's like a 40 plus man. So even though it's anybody can wear anything, right? So those are the things that I get. And it feels like gangster, you know, like a old school gangsters. <laughs> Not nowadays like those rookies, okay? So this is a very respectable perfume. Is this playful? Yeah, it can be. On the dry down, if you let it dry down on your skin, it smells. Uh, that point on dry down, it can feel like women can wear it too but the opening definitely is very masculine so it's a definitely polarizing one definitely the one uh, i would highly respect i gave it 10 out of 10 uh, why because i like the way tom ford made this this is not that gimmicky recent days they're releasing a lot of stuff i smell them they're like why 500 dollars for 50 ml i do not get the hype perhaps just cashing in but this is the days he made fragrances perhaps like you know they took that gutsy move make it not as a crowd pleaser you really have to pay attention to study the perfume and then understand it so complexity factor makes it 10 out of 10 the smell transition complexity long lasting uh, all those factors make it 10 out of 10 but sad part discontinued so if they do release it on designer side i will definitely buy it definitely if you're gonna buy it because it's gonna be more affordable so look for a sample okay sample it first cold weather so good but it's not a clubbing or it doesn't feel like most modern, but somehow it does stay relevant, okay? So if you do like Kuros, Antheas, uh, or uh, fragrances like Amber Absolute, mix them all together, maybe a little bit of Amen by Thierry Mugler, you're gonna get London, but very nice fragrance. Very, very nice fragrance, dark, rich, uh, polarizing at the same time, very pretty. <laughs> uh, thanks doc very much for your fragrance bottle courtesy. And thanks for watching guys i am so sorry i took a couple of you know like uh, breaks voice as you can tell is not good hopefully tomorrow we'll be back with more reviews i'll see you soon have a good night from dhaka bangladesh bye bye